Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Callum McKinvin from Locale Holstein's and Jerseys in Canton to Hatley, Quebec, Canada. Um, my good friend, Glenn Lucas uh, in the UK had asked me to say a few words about Gary Awesome Beauty. Gary Awesome Beauty for us was one of the best animals we ever owned. As a cab, uh, we purchased her from uh, in our tag sale here at Lookout from Gary Holsteins, who are great breeders. Um, they've always been breeders who uh, tapped into the great families throughout the world, throughout North America, and uh, have bred many good ones. Beauty is no exception to the rule. Uh, she's from a great family. She stems back to, uh, all the way back to Tony Beauty, which has been a family that's been breeding for many, many years, great ones. Beauty is a calf. We fell in love with her when she arrived at Lookout for the tag sale. We just, uh, we just couldn't take our eyes off her. She had the look to her. She had that beautiful dariness, the exceptional rib structure, the angularity, the incredible style. And uh, for us, she was a calf that we felt had a great future. So we purchased her uh, in the sale, in the tag sale from Dure, and she went on uh, to do great things for us that year. She just got better and better, which we expected she would. She's a heifer that actually won it at World Dairy Expo and the Inter International Holstein Junior Show and Open Show. A heifer that went on to be All-American that year. She calved in as a uh, junior two-year-old early in the spring. And uh, just when she calved in, we knew she had the potential to be a great cow. She had the venation all over her udder, great attached udder beautiful balanced all the way through she was not the biggest two-year-old she was a very modern cow the kind that we all like to have now that that's not extreme but extremely nice and to us uh, we felt she had a great great future she ended up winning at the new york spring show as a junior two-year-old then she went on and even though she didn't win at madison she stood second she had a big fan base she knew she was a cow was well liked and then she went on to be all american that year she also went on to be all Canadian that year as a junior two-year-old. We bred her back and she was in calf and uh, she calved in in the early summer and uh, we were so excited. We said this is perhaps one of the best cows, young cows in the world. We felt that she had the potential to go on to do great things. In our sadness, uh, we had a little bad luck after calving. Uh, she looked so phenomenal that night. The next day she... Uh, she had a blood clot that traveled to her brain and she had a brain aneurysm and that's what actually put her down, uh, killed her. And it, it was very sad. And uh, she was so, we were so attached to her. She was like a family member to us. So we took it really hard, still very sensitive to talk about it today because we felt that cow perhaps would have went on and been one of the greatest cows in the world. So for anybody who has a chance to tap into this family or by an individual, from beauty yourself, from some embryos we sold, I feel that uh, it would be a wise move. We have some uh, daughters here at the farm that are coming along and we feel they're exceptional individuals as well. And we're breeding from them and we're, we're doing a bit of flushing on them. And, and I think anybody that can get into an individual from this cow or from this family, it would be a wise move. Thank you very much.